Good morning, my dear students. So today we will study about the plants, forms and functions. Mainly we have to discuss today herbs, shrubs and trees, creepers, plants and climbers. This many points we will discuss today. So first we have to see the different types of plants. We see different types of plants around us. We find them on land as well as in water. Plants may be big or small. We like to have plants even inside our houses. Plants make the surrounding green. Scientists have estimated around 3 lakh plants out of which some are flowering plants and some do not bear flowers on them. On the basis of the size and nature of the stem, plants can be divided into three groups, herbs, shrubs and trees. Let us study them in detail. So, whenever you have went to the forest, you have seen many types of trees in the forest. Some are small, some are very long or tall. So, now we will see first about the herbs. Which type of plants are called the herbs? So, herbs are small size plants which bear seeds. They have very soft stem. Many herbs are used in cooking for their flavor, either fresh or dried. For example, basil and spring onion. So, in the picture, it is given onion and basil. So, these can be eaten as dried or fresh. Both types we can eat. Some herbs like tulsi. Some herbs like a tulsi are used as medicine because they are contain photochemical. Almost all the parts of herbs are used like the stems, roots, flowers and berries. Coriander, tomato and Wheat are some more herbs. Some herbs grow into small shrubs and have woody stems. These herbs are often used in medicine. For example, lemongrass. So, lemongrass is one of the medicine plants. As well as we have seen the tulsi, we use more as a medicine. Next, we will see shrubs. Which type of plants are called shrubs? So we have to see in the detail. So shrubs are usually less than 4 meter tall. Shrubs and bushes are categorized as woody plants, but the stem is not thick as of tree. They have many branches that rises near the base of the stem. Some branches are covered with flowers of all shrubs and sizes. Many shrubs have small branches with many leaves growing close together which are often reduced in size. Rose, cotton, and heavy cases. So these plants are called heavy cases. Next we have to see trees. Trees are found everywhere in the world. They have thick woody stem called the trunk. They are perennial and woody plants because very tall in most cases. It is generally accepted that a plant that grow for minimum of 5 or 6 meters in considered, considered a tree. So we can see the mango tree. 
all trees have secondary branches that grow away from the trunk many trees in the world are thousand of years all this makes this species some of the oldest living things on this planet trees are important as they prevent soil erosion and provide oxygen that we breathe in mango apple and oranges are some trees and many more trees are in the earth we see around us all the trees are very helpful to us and it help us to clean the air which we use to breathe in so we have to plant the trees that's why we can see the greenery around us as well as we can get the fresh air next we have to see the climbers and creepers so have you ever noticed plants which grow along the compound walls as or cover for walls or at the entrance as an arch you have seen around your houses you have planted so many plants which are climbers which climbs up with the help of any other trees or any other things so that are called the climbers as we can see here in the tree some climbers as climbing up with the help of tree so these plants are different from the ones you have just learnt these are called climbers the stem of these plants are very weak and need a support to grow that is why they are often seen growing along the walls with the trees and with some other things which are nearby that plants jasmine grapes bean money plant are some of the climbers they are grow along the ground and creepers a uh, creep along the soil so here one plant we can see pumpkin which is a creeper because it grows along with the soil the bottle gourd watermelon and pumpkin are example of creepers so this many plants can grow in the soil in the lined area they grow throughout with the lined as the line they will get same as they will grow around the root so this many plants we have studied today that are first we have seen herbs second we seen shrubs then trees and climbers and creepers so today we learned that there are so many types of plants around us different types of trees are there because there are so many types of plants in the world some of the plants we can see in our area but some of the different plants are lies in the different places so we can see the different different plants are around us so today we will learn this much and next of the point we will see in the next video so take care bye bye thank you